All right, so we are now going to make a wind tile, and we're gonna we're gonna do something kind of crazy as far as how to make them win and i just want to again show you the kinds of things that if you think a little bit outside the box that you can make happen just with what we've already been talking about here um and this is something new this is something i'm adding right now as we go so bear with me here for a second um your i will make sure that this is included on your um your version as well so uh i need to make a win object first of all um i could i could do it here I could just as easily do it uh, right in the graphics bank. I'll show you. I haven't really shown you this all that much. We'll go to assets, and it's going to be when we're underground. So uh, the windscreen is going to be uh, this right here, dungeon pallets. There's a spot check graphic here. I'm just going to – I know I didn't use this tile all the way over here, so I'll use this one. You can go to edit. Now, this is not nearly as comprehensive as the drawing tool, but I could just – like I, it's a one-tile-sized uh, graphic. I'm just going to – Thumb this in real quick. Get my dungeon palettes, and I'm going to use this dungeon palette. And the first thing is, I'll just color. I just have a pencil tool. I'm just going to color the ground. And what are we trying to get in this in this fantasy basement? Do you think? I think I know what we're trying to get. Let's see how long it'll take you guys to to see what I'm doing. I'll. I should put a little uh, sound sound bed on right now. This would actually be a lot easier in the other part of the tool where I have uh, the uh, rectangle uh, tool and stuff like that, but that's okay. Let's see if you guys can guess what it is that I'm making. How long will it take? What are we getting in our basement that we all long for, that we all are searching for? Do you see it yet? Do you see it yet? Oops. Okay. Let's do this. And every other one. I know you're starting to see it. You guys are all smart. Hey, it's a nest cartridge. All right. So this tile is going to trigger our windscreen, getting this nest cartridge here. Um, and it's not a great nest cartridge, but it'll do maybe. That'll make it look a little bit better. That's a little bit better. And, you know, we have a label of some kind. And a little down arrow. And... make it look like it has something on it some kind of graphic all right um so nest cartridge awesome i'm going to save the modified tile yes i want to reload it okay and close that out and now i have a nest cartridge um for use and what i want it to do is i want it to be uh, to trigger my windscreen and i'm going to call this uh, uh win tile or something like that i'm going to save it now the, originally what i had was this just took you to the the wind screen but that wasn't very satisfactory be, uh, because like I, I know i'm going to want to play a sound effect there when i win i'm going to want to play happy little sound effect and then after the sound effect is done go to the wind screen it just feels more satisfying so what i did instead was i i created this let me show you and see if you can follow the logic here um in system, I've got my game, win game, uh, handle, player, win. It's just like handle, player, lose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create that dummy, that number eight object again, that effect object again. Here's what this says. Um, this, this macro is to create an object at, a, at this position, X, Y, okay? And I'm creating it at the player's X and Y. That's what I'm setting to these two variables which object I'm creating, which was that number eight game object, right? And this is which state it's going to be in, which action state. By default, it's at zero. So, you know, when it comes on, it starts at its, its first state. 
But if I put this here, it's going to start at state seven. So the last state. And so I'm not wasting an object for a win object. I'm going to use the same object I'm making for the death object, but it's going to jump to the seventh state and I'll make the seventh state animation. When that's done, that's what's going to trigger going, jumping to the, uh, the animation screen. So we are, we've got that tile and I'm going to put that in the room. So it's going to be right in the middle of this. I wish I could put some shining lights ah, um, right there. And maybe I'll put a couple skulls in here. A couple people died waiting for Nest Maker to become real. Um, okay. And now I'm going to go to that game object, this game object here. And this is going to start on... Oops. This is going to start on action seven. Action seven doesn't do anything yet. I don't. I don't. I don't have anything there. Uh, I don't have an animation for this. So what would his animation look like when he wins? Maybe I've got to make him like put up his hands in the air or something like that. So let's edit this and make a new uh, new tile for him. I'm going to load the BMP of. So what I'm do oops, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to edit my game object tile and I'm going to just all I'm going to really do is copy this and put it in an unused space like this and edit just that so I'm going to zoom in once and scroll over to that and I'm I, I'm trying to figure out a way to make him look happy, so I'm gonna get the color green because that's his hands, and I'm gonna put his hands like way up like this, and I'm just gonna color an arm. So he's got his hands up in the air like yay hooray, um, and you know I could eventually put I'm gonna color this in with black. I could eventually put like. Um, the game cartridge in his hand above his head and stuff like that if I wanted to get really crazy with it. But no time for that now. And I'm even going to make it look like he's got his mouth open. So I'm going to drop his jaw by one. And he's going, yay, hooray, good job. Okay, so I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it right over the top. Yep. And now I've got a new, uh, new tile to use this for his animation here, right there. So he's super happy. Um, I need a new animation, and I'm going to call it win. I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to go to the win animation, and it's just going to be, let's say, eight frames of celebration. So uh, flip that horizontally. Flip that horizontally. I'm going to copy this frame, paste it to every other frame. One, three, five, and seven. And his normal frame on on the even. Oops, shoot. Sorry. One, three, five, seven. Odd frames of that. Even frames are just going to be his normal stance. Copy that. Go to two, four, six, and eight. And so, you know, he'll look like, yay, I win, I win, I win, raise the roof, whatever, you know, cool thing. He's flapping his wings, whatever. So that's, uh, that's going to be his win animation. Uh, and in his object details, I'm going to set his last, th this is what it's going to jump to, this is what I told it to go to, is this seventh t uh, adam action type, uh, action step. And he's going to show his, oops, I never actually made, oh, come here. Okay, I never actually made a win state, so I need to make a new state called win. And in win, every frame he's going to be showing, or every direction, whatever direction he's in, he's going to be showing that facing down win graphic. <clears throat> and then in actions, I'm going to have him show win 
And at the end of his animation, when that's done, it's gonna do, it's gonna win the game, which is gonna which is basically just going to the win script. I don't know how fast that should be. Let's try that. So win. He's not doing any action. Um, he's uh, his actions looping. So if the timer goes off, it's not gonna matter. But it, when his animation is done, it's gonna win the game. And in the last step, we're gonna add a sound effect. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna make this even more profound. Um, okay, so let's try that out. Um, experiment here. Uh, I'm going to cheat by just going straight to that screen. I'm going to place them right here. That way we can test it. Export and test. And let's see if that works. Yay! And I win. It does work. So that is really, really, really a cool, easy way that we can make, uh, you know, you win the game. And obviously we can make a much cooler ending screen and multiple ending screens and other things happen and sound effects and music. And, you know, Nest win screens were generally fairly simple. They usually showed something and played some credits, and that's really all they were. So, you know, a lot of them... Thank you for saving me, Mario. A new quest is about to begin kind of nonsense, and, and that's it. So um, that would do fine for a win, win for a very simple NES game. All right, so the last thing that we're going to do in the next step is we are going to add some music and sound effects to this whole nonsense, and hopefully that goes without a hitch, and then we'll just do some cleanup work, and we'll have a mini game that we've created in just a matter of a couple hours.